Hello little learners we are happy to have you join us on this exciting journey into the world of computers with binary brains the language of computers grade 3 lesson 4 today we will learn about introduction to microsoft word open microsoft word and create a new document components of word window tabs in microsoft word formatting text save a document and open a saved document let's begin with introduction to microsoft word a word processor is a computer program used for writing editing and formatting text it helps you write change and organize your work you can also add pictures change colors and make the text look how you want microsoft word google docs and wps office are some of the famous word processors we will learn about microsoft word in this lesson let us now see how to open microsoft word and create a new document click on the start button search word in the search bar click on open click on the blank document option a microsoft word blank document opens Now you can type in this document. Next, we will learn about components of Word window. Title bar present on the top of the window. The title bar displays the name of the document. Quick access toolbar contains commonly used buttons like save, undo, and redo. Tabs they are located below the quick access toolbar. It contains of file home insert draw design layout reference mailing review view and help each tab has specific functions and task ribbon the group of tools and tabs is called the ribbon text or document area you can type the text in this area You can press the enter key to write on the next line. Status bar. The rectangular box at the bottom of the screen is called status bar. It shows the page number and the number of words typed. Vertical scroll bar. Used to move up and down in the document. It's on the right hand side. Horizontal scroll bar. Used to move right and left in the document. It is about the status bar. Cursor. The vertical line blinking is called a cursor. It shows the position where the text we type will appear. As we just learned each tab has specific functions and tasks, we will now see various tabs in Microsoft Word. File tab. This tab helps you open, save, print or close your document. Home tab. This tab allows you to change how your text looks. You can make words bold change colors and choose different fonts styles of letters it also gives paragraph setting options to choose from insert tab use this tab to add fun things like pictures shapes or tables to your document draw tab this tab lets you draw or write with different tools like pen or pencil on your document design tab This tab helps you make changes to how your document looks. You can add designs and borders to your document. Layout tab. Here you can change how your document is set up, like making the space around the edges bigger or smaller. Reference tab. If you want to add special notes or a list of sources, this tab helps you do that. Mailing tab. This tab helps you create letters and envelopes or send documents to many people. Review tab. This tab is where you check your work. You can correct spelling mistakes and see and add suggestions. View tab. This helps you look at your document in different ways. Example, seeing two pages side by side. Help tab. This tab gives you tips on how to use Microsoft Word. Next, We will learn about formatting text. To format text in Word, you need to select it. Let's learn how to select text. 
Click and hold the left mouse button at the beginning of your text you want to select. Drag the cursor that is mouse to the end of the text. Release the mouse button to complete the selection. The text will be highlighted. This text can now be formatted that is we can change its font, font style, size, color, etc. Font style. The font is like the style of your writing. You can choose from many different styles to make your words look fancy, funny or serious. You can see different styles by clicking on the drop down arrow that is on the right in the font style. Bold. Here you can see the sentence I study in third standard. Now you will make it bold which makes your words stronger to grab attention. Italics. The same sentence is now in italics. It slants your words like they are leaning forward. Underline. Draws a line under your words to show they are important. Font size. The size changes how big or small your words appear. We use big letters for titles and small letters for writing details. You can click on the drop down and select any font size you want. Let's see how. You can select the size before you start typing. Or select the typed text and change the font size as required. Font color. Select the text in your document. Click on the drop down beside the font color icon. Choose the color you want from the various colors shown. For example, we will choose blue. The text is now blue color. Text alignment. Text alignment means the positioning of the text in the paragraph or a document. First, type some text as shown. Once done, select your text. You have four options for alignment. Let's try each one of them. Align left. Align center. Align right. Justify. Bullets. A small symbol used to mark every item in a list is called a bullet. We will now create a list of wild animals. Write five names of wild animals, one on each line. Lion. Elephant, Tiger, Giraffe, Kangaroo. Now select your text. Click on the drop down arrow beside the bullets icon. And select the bullet style you want. Numbering. Helps you create a numbered list. We will now create a numbered list of cities in India. Write 5 to 7 names of cities. One on each line. Delhi. Pune, Mumbai, Chennai, Kolkata. Now select your text, click on the drop down to the right of the numbering icon and select the numbering style you want. So far we have learned how to create a word document, various font styles, formatting options. Now we shall learn how to save a document and open a saved document. Save a document. Click on the file tab, then select save as. Choose the location where you want to save your document. Here we will choose the location as this PC desktop. Now write the name of the file that you would remember later. We will write as my document. Now click on save button. Your document is saved. You can open it to read or edit it anytime you want. Let's now learn how to open a saved document. Open Word. Click on Open from the File menu. Click on the location where the document is saved or search the name of the document in the search box. Here we will search for My Document as we had saved the file with this name in the previous section. Click on the document and it opens. You can add or remove something from this document. If the autosave is on, you need not save the document every time. If the autosave is off, go to the file menu and click on save. That's all for today students. 
Hope you had fun learning about Microsoft Word. Want to test your brain? You can attend a quiz of this chapter on Dattamsh website. Once you finish attending the quiz of all the chapters, you will receive a certificate. Scan the first QR code to visit the Tamsh website or click on the link provided in the description box. Scan the second QR code to learn how to navigate to assessment page and access the quiz section on the website or click on the link provided in the description box. You can also download this PPT from the Tamsh website. Great job little genius, you have finished lesson 4. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next lesson. Happy learning!